It's Nat and Essie plus Sprinkles the Bear. <laughs> Wait! <sighs> Two, four, six, eight, ten! Ten different color changing nail polishes? Ooh, this can only mean one thing! Mm. Color changing time! Hello besties, Essie here for Nat and Essie. It is indeed color changing time. This time we have two of our favorite trolls from the movie Trolls Band Together, Poppy and Branch. Okie dokie dokes, let's start! Ladies first! Okay, for Poppy, I want to color change her dress and her tiara. For her tiara, I want to use this green color that changes into like neon green or yellow. Trying to be careful not to color her hair. Remember that if you made a mistake, you can trust a handy dandy toothpick to help you out. <laughs> Just like what I'm doing here. You can also use the toothpick to get into those tiny spaces. There we go. Okay, we're gonna let that dry and ah! We're gonna let that dry for the meantime. Let's go ahead and color the dress. And of course, I'm gonna use my favorite nail polish. This is the pink one that turns shimmery. Okay, this one applies a little bit better than the one that we used a while ago. That one was a little dry, but hopefully it still works. Alrighty, we'll let that one dry too. On to branch. Uh, the figures don't want to stand today. For him, I want to color change the shirt and the pants. Let's start off with the pants. I know this isn't much of a change, but it changes from orange to yellow, which I like. There we go. And now for the shirt. What color should we change it to? Maybe this blue one? It changes from dark blue to a lighter blue. Alright, there you go. A little patchy, but first coats are done. We'll be back after the second coat. And here they are after the second coat. They look a bit more vibrant for sure. <laughs> ah, still can't stand up. That's okay. Ah, let's get some cold and hot water here, shall we? Here's our hot water. Here's our cold. Let's go dive in. Okay, Branch, you go first this time. One, two, three. Wow. <laughs> The orange became yellow and the dark blue became lighter. Nice! Let's jump in the cold water. Whee! Ah! Lots of ice! There we go! Back to a darker shade of blue and orange. One more! Whee! That was super cool! And another! Woohoo! Whew, that cold plunge is invigorating! Time for Poppy! To the cold water? <laughs> Nothing happens there! That cold definitely woke me up! Sorry, Poppy! Into the warm water you go! Yay! Nice! The dark green became lighter, and now we have white shimmery instead of pink dress! Take a close look! Into the cold water! Pink and darker green! Whee! Again, again, again! Woohoo! I love the colors! And the transformation! Whee! Alright besties, I hope you enjoyed this color changing transformation. I will see you again in our next episode. Who are we going to transform next time? Hey Branch, it's February. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Uh, feel what? 
something is in the air around this time of the year. Are you talking about the wind? Because, yeah, I do feel the wind blowing. Oh, Branch, no! It's February. That means it's Valentine's Day. I can just feel it. Love is in the air. So today, why don't we do something hearty, artsy, and crafty? Hardy, artsy, and crafty. Okay, um, that's a lot of E. I know! Essie, can we do something hardy, artsy, and crafty? Hmm, I think I know an activity that would fit that. Looky, looky here. I have four heart-shaped cookies. Oh, it is definitely hearty! What are we gonna do with this? Well, it's a cookie, so we eat it? Not yet. Not after we decorate it with some Valentine's Day colors of icing and Valentine's Day themed sprinkles. Oh, that's definitely artsy and crafty! Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it! Uh, can you tell she's excited? Oh, I can't blame her! Okie dokie dokes, let's go ahead and start. Let's get our heart shaped cookies here. That sure looks yummy. For our first design, let's get this pink icing. And we are going to line up this cookie on the outermost part. We made a little mess, but that's what our handy dandy toothpick is for. And get everything straightened out. Next, let's get our white icing. And let's make a smaller heart inside. Now we are going to get our red icing and we're going to make an even smaller heart. Ah! <laughs> that doesn't look very good. Don't worry, we'll fix it. Then I'm going to fill that red heart with pink icing. Looks simple enough. Now I want to sprinkle the inside of that heart with these sugar sprinkles. Can you see the little hearts in here? Even has stars too. And we'll do the same for the pink icing. That's the plan. For this one, let's get our red icing and we are going to line up the cookie again. And now we're going to fill that up with some heart sprinkles. There's a red heart, there's a white, and there's pink. Let's get our toothpick and we'll push those sprinkles to the end. Okay, that's looking adorable. I know, right? Let's make it even more adorable with pink icing. I'm just covering up the little holes. And give it a shake, shake, shake. <laughs> That way, the icing settles a little bit better. And now let's make it shimmer. Voila! Here it is! Oh! <laughs> um, Poppy, are you okay? Oh, uh, yes, yes. I'm just, I'm just so overwhelmed with love. I'm super in love with this one. Well, look at that! You guys decorated two cookies already! <laughs> well, I guess I'm, I'm out of here. One for you and one for me. Branch, no! Oh, dear. Uh, okay. Let's do this. Don't worry, Branch. For you, we're only decorating one cookie. How's that? Yeah, that would be amazing. How do you want to decorate this one? Well, um, why don't we put the word love in there? L-O-V-E. Love. Let's do that. L O V E. I 
And now what's next, Branch? Branch! Nom, 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 Branch! Oh, uh, oh, uh, sorry. Got a little distracted there. What did you say again? Oh, I was just gonna ask, how do you want to decorate it next? Hmm, oh, why don't we line it up with more icing on the outside? All the three different colors. Sure, let's do that. Let's do red. Pink. And white. Now let's add a little bit of heart right here. Another one here. And one here. Aww. Now let's give those little hearts some shimmer. And done! Branch! Look! This is your Valentine's Day cookie! Oh! Oh, uh, hi! <laughs> oh, silly Branch. Here! Your cookie is done! <gasps> Whoa! That looks amazing, if I may say so myself. Oh, that was so much fun! Look at all these cookies that we made! Yeah, and those sprinkles sure are delicious. Happy Valentine's Day! Oh, Poppy, is this your purse? Oh my goodness, it is super duper cute! And look, you have me as your keychain! Aww! Yes, I love this purse, and guess what? I got you a purse too! I got you a purse too! It has you and me on it! Ooh, even better! Let's make it super duper trollerful! Let's color our purse! For Poppy, we're gonna color her dress blue. We're also gonna color this part of her leg blue. And then the top part would be yellow. We're also going to color her bracelet yellow. Nice! Okay, on to Viva. Viva is wearing a cape and we are going to make that color green. And then the star here would be color yellow. And for her legs, we are going to color that pink. Okay, Poppy and Viva are done. Time for their names. We're gonna get that pink marker. And you know what, for Poppy, I'm gonna color that color purple. I see some gems. We're gonna color this one blue. Or maybe we'll mix it up with different colors. Ooh, and how about this diamond? Ooh, flowers! Flowers! More flowers! Yep, let's color them. Purple. Pink. And yellow. I see a star! Or two! Let's color them yellow! Look! More stars! Yeah, and I think we're gonna color these different colors this time. Let's do green. And pink. And blue. Wait, is that a rainbow? Let's color it! We don't have red, which is the first color of the rainbow, but we do have pink, so that's what I'm using. The next color is orange. Again, we don't have orange, but you know what we can do? We can mix pink and yellow. Voila! There's the orange. <laughs> now we have yellow. Then green. And of course, blue. I see a musical note here and here. I see it. Let's color this one light pink. We're gonna do the same with the other. Almost done. I just see some hearts here. Oh, a 
Mom, there's another star. What do you think, Poppy and Viva? It's super adorbs. I love it too, but we have one more thing to do. Oh, that's right. We got to decorate it with gems. We have some yellow gems, some pinks, blues, and purple. Woohoo! We made it! Remember this purse? This one has a Viva keychain on it. So for this new purse, I want to put this keychain. It's a pink furry ball, just like my hair. Oh, a pink troll's hair, just like Poppy's. Put that on the handle, just like this. Cute! Now let's fill it up with all the good things. We can put a coloring book in there, a water bottle, crispy treats, markers, and we can even put a toy inside. Ooh, I sure can fit my life in it. <laughs> Woohoo! Another arts and crafts video is done. Thanks for watching. Bye! Whoa. Branch, Dad said we need to be inspired today. No TV, no video games. But what can we do that will inspire us to be creative? Hmm. I mean, I wonder if we swap spots, if it would give us some creative ideas. Whoa, these things are so cool. What are they? I have an idea, Branch. What is it, Poppy? Let's create some crafts together. I would like to make some slime that looks just like this lava lamp. That would be a great idea, Poppy. Let's see what we can find to create our inspired art project. Do, 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 do. <gasps> oh, these bowls look great! We can make slime using these bowls. And look, Poppy, there's ingredients inside too. This will help us make our fantastic slime together. Woohoo! Are you ready to watch us make slime? And at the end, let us know which one you like the most. Team Branch or Team Poppy Slime? Slime is so fun to make. Woohoo, everyone! And I'll be the judge, so let's see what they can create. Whoa! Let's start creating. To start our slime project, we need one container of glue. Poppy's glue is a vibrant pink, and I'm going to put the whole thing into my bowl. Right now, all it is is glue and would make a giant mess. I'm going to go ahead and put a paper towel under my bowl to mitigate any spills. And now I'm putting in a chemical reactant to make this into slime. Time to start mixing! You can see the glue starting to clot as it binds with our stay flow. Mix it all together. You use about one cup of slime or one cup of glue to a quarter cup of stay flow. You can see, watch this. How cool does this look? It's absolutely turning into slime. You mix for about a good five minutes okay and watch what happens if it's too sticky add just a little bit more of your stay flow right now it's been about two minutes it's starting to look a lot more like slime and it's sticking a little bit less to my fingers but if it keeps sticking add just a little bit more stay flow until it completely stays in one piece. Yeah, this is still a little too slimy. Check it out. It's been five minutes of mixing, adding just a little bit of stay flow if it was too sticky. And look at our slime now. It's absolutely poppy-tastic. Doesn't stick to my hands. Nice and stretchy and fluffy sparkly just like poppy 
Slime is so easy to make. Just be sure you do it somewhere where you can keep clean. Wow, how creative, Poppy. It looks just like you. Some beautiful pink slime for Poppy. Now, let's go ahead and make some slime for Branch. Now that we made this one perfect, oh, you see? I put that towel down and how perfect. I didn't even notice that I spilled all over the side of my container. Well, it was still sticky ooey goo. Swapping out this paper towel for a new and clean one because it's time to make some branch slime. some clear, and some glow-in-the-dark blue. Let's see what it looks like when we mix it all together. It's going to turn into a really pretty blue. So let's go ahead and add our activator. And mix, mix, and mix until it turns into a solid that doesn't stick to your fingers anymore. If you do add too much activator, you'll know because it will start looking like a brain. Just add a little bit more glue. Just like this. Halfway through, I go in with my hand. It's not sticking to me anymore. Okay, we've got Poppy and we've got Branch. Branch, however, I feel like it falls a little flat just being this blue color. So you can do anything fun with your slime, and you can make it any way you'd like. I might add some purple sequins in for branch. Make it a glittery slime instead of just a flat slime, and see how this turns out. You can add so many fun ingredients to your slime and see what it turns into. If that's not enough, we can always add more. But look how soft and fluffy this slime is. We definitely need some more purple sequins in here, just like this. <gasps> Mix it all together. It's kind of cosmic now. Purple, blue, ooh, I like this. Check out Branch's new slime. <gasps> purple sequins, glow in the dark. Wait a minute, we haven't really tested out the glow feature yet. I wonder if it works really well. One, two, three. This camera doesn't get the glow, but it definitely is glowing. I should have used a different camera. This one doesn't really show the glow. But check this out, we got to be creative today. We made two trolls inspired slimes. Poppy's is so soft and fluffy. And then Branch's just has all these sequins and is really fun to look at. Which one do you guys prefer? Poppy's soft and fluffy or Branch's awesome glow in the dark? This was so much fun to make a project with you. One cup of glue to a fourth of a cup of activator and add as necessary. This is the most basic slime recipe and easy to follow. It gets a little bit messy, so use a towel, and I hope you're inspired to create something yourself. Whoa! Slime! Come back! Let's try to make some of our other friends. See you next time on Hashtag Nat and Essie.